Happy Thursday, January 14th. My name is Tim Allman, one of the pastors at Christ Greenfield. We are so thankful for you drawing closer to the Jesus story through our Mark plan. Today we're meditating on Mark chapter 1, verses 35 to 39, where Jesus seeks solitude and moves on to preach in other Galilean towns. The Sabbath before had been very busy for Jesus. He preached with authority, cast out demons, healed his a mother-in-law, Peter's mother-in-law, and healed all who came to him. He's been quite famous. He's becoming quite famous for his ability to meet felt needs. What would you look to do after a day like that, a crazy, chaotic day of service like Jesus had? I'd probably want to sleep in. 7 a.m. at least until the sun has come up. Not Jesus. Jesus has more to do. Yet before he gets back to his kingdom work, he wakes up early to seek solitude and to pray. Jesus is too busy not to wake up early for prayer. Intimate communion with his Father. You know this, but if Jesus needed to be recentered to the will of his Father in this way, how much more so do we? So how are your, your morning moments with the triune God who makes you his dwelling place? He lives in you. How you doing? You struggling? If so, that's okay. Confess the struggle. Receive forgiveness. Jesus knows the struggle. Look to the cross and see how much he loves you. Or maybe... You're growing in your morning rhythms. Are you going to bed eager to meet God in the morning, in your quiet place? Are you waking up early in the morning with the joy to encounter Jesus in his word? If so, keep it up. May this journey be a grace to you. You don't have to read God's word. You get to. He loves you so much. Now picture Jesus getting up early to move, to come to be where you are. He is so near. His word is yours and you are his. Happy reading. Meet Jesus in the morning solitude. He's, he's waiting for you there.